everybody know that me and Rock had our, you know, rough patch. Um, I like super grateful though that we got over it for real, for real. Like before that tragic situation happened, but I'm happy that we got over it. But I'm also happy that we didn't just get over it and be like, all right, nigga, we over it. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you not get comfortable? How, like, what are your goals, and how do you not get comfortable now that you are around millionaires? Now that you're getting these 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 these, I think it's a thing, right? Where it's like just hanging with people that got more than you. You feel on different levels, though. Because if you hang in the hood, right, and you're doing better than niggas in the hood, then you gonna always think you want some shit. You still be in the hood. Do you still play the no, fuck no, 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 no. I ain't playing nothing against the hood, cause like, I look odd in the hood, like speed to speed, like on my block chilling, it's like, fuck, if you roll past in a car, I'd be like, come on, bro. If I ain't actually filming no documentary or nothing, a video or something, it's kind of like, bro, what you doing, man? right? Then it'd be a thing, oh shit, a rapper, a rapper got killed or shot, and it's like, well damn, why was Core right there? What I'm saying, if something was to happen to me, I'm not speaking on nobody else. I'm saying if something was to happen to me, the first question people gonna ask is, "Damn, bro, what you was right there for? Spade is spade, and why you moving when you're not right? And even if you move right, something can happen." And da -da -da -da. But I'm just saying, I think that I don't even play the hood no more because it'd be like you think like you been you know you can inspire people playing the hood though. If you was to play the hood, you think inspiration will motivate people. I think you? I think that I can inspire people in the hood without being in the hood. You feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, yo, who's up and coming in the hood? I'm going to send them songs or invite them to a session. We don't even got to be in the hood. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's like, because you, you come, you got to think, right? You go into a place where people in the hood don't even want to be in the hood. So you got the luxury to come to the hood and leave when you want. God damn, brother, you putting that in our face? Even even if you're not shoving it in people's face, you don't you never know. I see this all the time. You never know when you rub somebody the wrong way. So you may be coming through on some shit, really feeling good, right? A nigga be like, damn, bro, roll pass and shit it on me. You feel what I'm saying? On some shit. And it's like, damn, bro, I ain't shit on you, gang. I'm sly. And nigga, I came from nothing, nigga. I was fucked up, nigga, just just a week ago. What you talking, bro? Type shit. Uh uh uh. That's one. Then two, I think it's a thing like when you changing and you growing, if a nigga ain't growing, then remind them that he's not growing. Feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, like, I always wanted to be that nigga where it's like, man, I'm good in the hood, nigga. Y'all not tripping, nigga. Y'all can go to the hood any day, nigga. I'm going to sit out there for hours, nigga. <laughs> Y'all niggas tripping. Just on some shit, thinking I'm on some shit, right? <laughs> that mindset is, like, weak. You feel what I'm saying? It's weak. Because if you're not coming to the hood to... Give away shit or help the community. What you doing? I'm fly. And I'm on some shit and and just that can look like you rubbing it in. What are you here for, bro? Mm -hmm. Like go like you, for the you, you made it out. Yeah, like what you here for? That's how I look at it. Like, what you just some people face for that's going through a bunch of shit type shit. Duh, 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 duh. Like, and you ain't trying to hope or contribute. Keep that shit rolling, bro. Nobody niggas know you. Alright, okay. You ain't got come around. You know what I'm saying? Duh, 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 unless you contribute, and that's how I look at it. Like, for real, for real. Because if you don't and you just go to the hood. I feel like that's how shit happens. Speed is speed. Like, yeah. just shit happen in general. Another Philly artist, like, in the same um, age group as you, generation, uh, PMB Rock right. situation, uh, uh, talk about him and what he meant to Philly hip hop. I know you had a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody know that me and Rock had our, you know, rough patch. Um, I, like, super grateful, though, that we got over it, for real, for real, yeah. like, before that tragic situation yeah. happened. But, I'm happy that we got over it, but I'm also happy that we didn't just get over it and be like, all right, nigga, we over it, fuck you. Mm -hmm. We got over it and actually communicated still. So when I first signed this deal, like I said, again, I didn't sign 
Like this is I'm in a great deal. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta say that again, nigga. It's D C and I shout out Cuz, shout out Donnie, shout out Sherry, shout out Cheyenne, the whole team, nigga. You already know how we doing it. Mm -hmm. I met Adam. You feel what I'm saying? Let's go. But um my fault, I just had to say that part. Where was I at? Uh, you I just had to say that. Our candy right, all right. Well, all right, so Rock had caught me about this deal. Boom. He actually explained to me how the deals work, like just on another level, right before, like right after I signed this deal. And I just always took that in, like, damn, bro, that was thorough. Nigga ain't even have to call and FaceTime me and explain all of that shit to me. He just wanted to make sure I was on it because he wasn't on it. Okay. You feel what I'm saying, type shit? And I think that that was like super dope to me. That's one, too. Um, prior to that, um, when I was in the deal or whatever I was going through, not this deal, but the last deal, um, we had did two songs. Uh, the label was trying to charge me like 25000 a piece for them. Bro was like, no, I put one out for free. The bro had told him, no, no charge. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's behind the scenes shit that people don't know. Like, go on for real, for real. And I just, oh, I always looked at it like, damn, that was sterile for real, for real. Like, I can't lie about that. Like, and I think that he came out around a time where it's like, where I came out and it's like, he started that, that sound for real, for real. Like, I can't lie about that. He did start a sound where his own sound was on way for the girls and everybody was fucking with it. And I thought that that was super dope for real, for real. Like, for over time, I'm not gonna act like this peaceful, right. like nigga that I'm not, because at the time we had differences. But I will say over time, I grew to look at it and say, no, I fucked with that, regardless of what we went through. When we was just young, both uptown, you know how that go, you just try to figure it out, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? I, 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 but like I said, I'm happy that we got to a point where we put it um, behind.